We are ready. I think we are uh, in a different situation if we compare with the previous year. So last year we hired uh, 17,000 people at group uh, level in the different airlines, and this year VA has hired 2,500 people and um, Iberia 2,400. So we have enough resources. The main issue is that we are an ecosystem. It's not only us. We need also the air traffic uh, controllers uh, working uh, and the airports uh, working. So, Which airport worries you the most? Is it Heathrow? Heathrow, yes. Still Heathrow. I think when you see the performance of, for example, Iberia in Madrid, uh, they are one of the most punctual airlines in the world. Uh, in the case of Heathrow, it's still very challenging. So I think summer is going to be uh, better. It's also true that, true that the French ATC strikes are hurting a lot, uh, and that uh, has an impact in the connecting traffic, and then we need to wait for the long-haul uh, traffic. Uh. If we look to the future, I mean, you've got, I mean, Aer Lingus is slightly off to the side, and mm -hmm. um, Welling is, again, doing its own thing. Essentially, the two network carriers, mm -hmm. BA, Iberia, can you bring them closer together? so that they operate essentially, you know, with Iberia doing the long haul South America bit and other parts of BA doing, but can you bring them closer together? We had a debate about the, the model that we have at the group because it's different to other groups, uh, for example, Air France, KLM or, or others, because uh, the overlap of the network that we have uh, between British Airways and Iberia uh, is reduced. So at the end, BA, uh, they fly mainly North Atlantic, Iberia, South Atlantic, so I think the model that we have uh, is different and it makes sense. So what we are trying to do now is to reinforce Madrid hub. Uh, that's the reason we are trying to do the Air Europa uh, operation that, you know, we are in the process to try to obtain the competition uh, uh, approval. But I think the model we have where capital allocation is key and the different airlines, uh, they compete for capital is the, the right one. And before COVID, uh, we were one of the most profitable group of airlines uh, in the world, and that's what we want to continue. Do you worry that ITER in Italy becomes part of Lufthansa? Is that a concern, a more powerful Lufthansa group? Um, I think consolidation in general is, is good. We need more consolidation in, in Europe. We are trying to do Europa, Lufthansa, they are trying to do uh, ITA. You know that TAP, now they are going to start the, the process. I think consolidation is going to be good for the customer. It's going to be good also for the development of the different companies, for the employees. So I think it's, uh, it's good if at the end uh, we can create uh, bigger and stronger groups that, uh, for example, in crisis like COVID, help.